Can we explain to Californians how we moved from a $100 billion surplus to such a significant deficit in just a matter of a few years? Well, it's, uh, yeah, we can explain it. $349 billion of unprecedented capital gains, 11.6%, uh, when traditional capital gains is around 5.18% on average. It's almost double. So you had massive volatility. You have requirements under Prop 2, the GAN. You have requirements under Prop 98, which require that set aside. We use 93% of our surplus, which is, I want to be careful, um, either on the higher end or without precedent for one-time purposes. So we anticipated, because we didn't want that surplus to go to ongoing commitments, we anticipated that shortfall. Uh, what we didn't anticipate is these rain bombs in December, January, February, and March, uh, these atmospheric rivers that led to a federal declaration that led to FEMA and the IRS moving in a direction where we couldn't collect our taxes until, I believe, November 16th, as opposed to April 15th. And so therein lied this blackout period that uh, beguiled all of us, the LAO, finance, economists, experts. And interestingly, I mean, who's been at the White House recently, uh, had an impact um, in terms of the IRS collections as well with their estimates because there were other states that had similar delays in their taxes related to weather events, if there was any indication that climate change uh, has impacts well beyond those that are often promoted, uh, I would consider uh, our financial delays as just another example of why we need to tackle them. Another reason I'm looking forward to um, uh, conversations um, that we'll be having next week. In the so when the DNC drops Joe Biden as their candidate for 2024 and this slime bag takes over, you think he's going to win or are enough Americans paying close enough attention to see that this moron ruined San Francisco and California? Because frankly, I'm not sure I trust the voters anymore.